Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see how to analyze a magnetic circuit by considering electric circuit in mind. So I am considering one core on the limb I am connecting a windings. That winding is carrying a current I in this direction. So, by right hand thumb rule, the magnetic flux will be in upward direction. If I consider these are the curl finger determining the current, then outstretched thumb will give you a direction of magnetic flux. So, I will get a magnetic flux in this direction. So, this is a magnetic flux phi. If I want to convert this into an electric circuit for our analysis purpose, it will look like this. Flux is there, hence MMF will be there. Number of turns are say N for this winding current carrying is I, hence the electric circuit is like this, MMF is as good as a EMF and that MMF F equal to N into I. This core will have some reluctance and that I can represent like this. I will call this as R and given by L divided by mu A and flux phi is like a current. So, ultimately I can consider this magnetic circuit as electric circuit where flux phi is MMF divided by reluctance very similar to that of Ohm's law which says I equal to E by R. So, over here a simple magnetic circuit I can consider repeat simple magnetic circuit can be drawn as a equivalent electric circuit having all the parameters of a magnetism. Let us consider one more circuit now. This time I will consider some air gap. In a core. So, there is a air gap. Winding is warm. Which is carrying a current in this direction. Hence, I will have a flux like this. So, this is the air gap. Now, here what is happening? Magnetic flux is linked to the core, but here through air gap and air gap will have some different permeability denoted by mu naught and hence different reluctance. 
So how the circuit will look like if I convert this into equivalent electric circuit? First of all, magnetic flux is there. Hence, I will have a MMF like this, N into I. Since two circuits will be present because the permeability is different of a magnetic core and the air gap, hence I will have two reluctances in the series. So I will get a circuit like this. where this is the reluctance of the core and this is the reluctance of air gap and flux phi will be just similar to that of an electric current. So here flux phi is nothing but MMF divided by total reluctance in the circuit which is nothing but a series connection of RC and RG. Why the reluctances are different because of air gap having the different permeability that of the core. Let's have one more circuit. This time I'm having circuit like this. Winding is wound on the central limb carrying same current I in this direction and obviously it will produce a flux phi. Now based on the length and area of cross section flux phi will divide itself so that it will pass through the core like this. One circuit will be completed like this and second flux line will be like this. Based on the area and mean length of this sections of the core, I will have different fluxes phi1 and phi2. How electrically we can represent this? Basically, I will have a MMF just like a EMF, N into I and three magnetic circuits I am having because I am having three fluxes. First is a phi. So that will be like this, I will consider reluctance is RC and remaining two fluxes will confine to this part of the core having a reluctance is different than that of this part of the circuit. So it will be like this. Two reluctances R1 and R2. MMF will produce a flux phi, but based on the reluctance, there will be a division of fluxes in phi1 and phi2. To get a total value of flux, that is nothing but addition of phi1 and phi2 and total phi will be nothing but MMF divided by equivalent reluctance which is nothing but parallel combination of R1, R2 that will be in series with RC. So number of fluxes in a same circuit will result into number of reluctances. So here we have seen all types of magnetic circuits 
that will come along in our study and how that can be represented in electrical equivalence. Thank you.